So as I've said before, and I'll say it again um, repeatedly, this is a really good um, point to be making sure that you're having a wide array of materials to choose from as you're working. Even though I've already established a couple of color um, palettes, I also want to keep um, all my scrap magazines next to me, all of my scrap paper, my printed paper, my uh, hand printed papers, my hand painted papers um, in piles around me. You'll tend to find that you're just a a messy color um, pile of uh, different papers as you're working. But it really is nice and it does inspire you uh, to have the different pieces around um, instead of just um, planning ahead and only using one um, stack of hues that you have. I always have a magazine that sometimes I end up just flipping through in order to find something else or become inspired by something and say, oh, that's great, I'm going to use this part of this um, gasoline tank or something instead. So again, make sure you just have a nice variety. You could have a huge stack of just magazines or if you can get your hands on some old books, it's a great way to go.